Good evening. Welcome to The Play. I'm Dave Morris. Tonight we'll talk thin crust pizza, block shots, and sorry with the fringe on top. But first, Oklahoma Attorney General Scott Pruitt is investigating the testing outages that disrupted the end of instruction exams for thousands of students. The Attorney General sent letters to school superintendents from across the state asking for information he can use to hold CTB McGraw-Hill financially accountable for online testing failures. Our Randy Ellis will have more on Pruitt's inquiry in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman. Ken's Pizza is making a comeback, opening a new restaurant for the first time in nearly 30 years. Ken's Pizza was the precursor to Tulsa-based Mazio's Pizza. That chain launched back in the early 60s, and some customers still yearn for the thin-crusted pizza that is served there. Our Brianna Bailey will take a look at the new pizzeria. It will be opening off of Danforth. Look for that story on Wednesday. David Vance and Serge Ibaka now share a city. The former GM of Remington Bark and the Thunder Power Ford have never met but are forever linked. Our sports columnist Barry Trammell reports 40 years ago Vance invented the stat for which Ibaka is now known. Yes, the block shot. When I take you out tonight with me, honey, here's the way it's gonna be. You will set behind a team of snow white horses in the slickest... All right, Shirley Jones may be a Pennsylvania native, but her star was born in Oklahoma. Jones will appear at a red carpet reception and a screening of the newly remastered Rodgers and Hammerstein classic named after the Sooner State. The imitation-only screening will take place on August 28th, and you can read more about the remastered classic and Jones's return to Oklahoma in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman. Temperatures will remain in the upper 90s through the weekend. There will be occasional low chances for rain and thunderstorms. There's the seven-day forecast. Those storm chances are mainly across northern Oklahoma later this week. Expect highs to be toasty in the mid-90s. That'll do it for this edition of The Play. These stories and more in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman and online at newsok.com. Have a great evening, everyone.